third day with Amir Recognition at the World Defense Show 2022 near Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. We have already shown you a wide range of products. Enjoy the selection for you today. My name is Jeff Tipton. I'm with the uh, Mars Group. We have three offices, one in Monaco, one in the UK, and one here in Saudi Arabia. Mars is a software company, and we really specialize in command and control software, artificial intelligence, machine learning. That's our secret sauce, is our software system and our ability to integrate sensors and effectors into our package. Our showcase is our NIDAR system. It's a command and control end-to-end -end system that allows operators to view the battle space, get supreme situational awareness, and then be able to inform their commanders and their battle captains of the airspace, protecting either air, or ground, or even under sea, and then utilize the correct effectors to uh, protect that critical infrastructure and lives. As part of our system, uh, not only do we have the full sensor package with radar, we can also affect those targets, either air targets, ground targets, underwater targets with effectors. We can either use a jammer or, as a last resort, a missile system or a cannon system, which literally destroys the airplane, destroys that drone in flight. So we have teamed up with our partners to provide that kinetic defeat capability. It gives uh, commanders and units multiple options on how they want to deal with that threat. I'm Stephen Scott, I'm the head of R&D for Defense at Mars. So this is our newest product, which is the Mars Interceptor. It's a counter US capability that uses kinetic energy to defeat both Category 1 and Category 2 UAVs. So there's a couple of features about this capability that make it unique. Uh, the first one is the uh, configuration of a hybrid quadcopter with a fixed wing aircraft. And that gives us the maneuverability and vertical takeoff and landing of a quadcopter, but the endurance of a fixed wing aircraft. The other thing that's unique about it is the machine learning. So it uses artificial intelligence to do target engagements and positive identification. Um, and the fact that it is completely benign, so it doesn't have a warhead in it, um, is also another unique feature. The interceptor is housed in this launcher. This is a smart launcher, which uh, does all of the uh, health and usage checks and battery management of the system. It uses an electromagnetic uh, assisted launch mechanism to propel the interceptor into the air where the engines then spool up and then it takes off. I'm Yves Copy. I am the founder of Skyhero company. Skyhero is actually a, a robotic manufacturer. Okay, so we started in 2013 for a consumer market and in 2015 we switched it to law enforcement and the military product. We are showing today our complete suite of uh, equipment which is based around one big software stack that we developed ourselves which is called Odyssey and this software allows us to control multiple devices simultaneously. So we embed this software in our own equipment or hand controller and this hand controller is then capable of controlling multiple devices simultaneously. So we have UAVs, we have ground throwers, we have different pay and all this equipment is there to help a assault team when they have to enter risky places. So buildings, facility, undergrounds, where a terrorist is maybe hidden, where somebody is shooting, where you have a barricade man or any other kind of threat that you could think of. Instead of sending humans or dogs inside these uh, risky places, you send technology. So our technology has been completely developed for that purpose. So we have night vision cameras embedded, full of equipment that gives the ability to the whole team to understand the situation very quickly. You do not rely on any network, so we don't need any GPS for maintaining position of our system. We don't need any Wi-Fi, no cell phone network, nothing. So we just rely on ourselves. We plug the battery in, 20 seconds after we are operating the system. And the reason why we are attending to the show today is that we are really active in Europe. So we deserve like 20 countries today. Army forces and, and uh, police forces are all using our equipment for a while now. We are very successful in the US also because we have most of the federal agencies, and, well, actually all of them using our equipment too. We started negotiation with the American army, but we are not active in the Middle East. So we are discovering this market and we found out that uh, attending to a big show was the best way of understanding their needs understanding their culture, do they use the same kind of equipment that we use in Europe and in the US, and that's mainly the reason why we are standing here today. My name is Spiro Salinas. I'm a business development manager with Skitalis. Uh, Skitalis is a software development and systems integration company from Greece, based in Greece, but with a footprint 
of delivered projects all around the world. We are specializing in tactical data links, mission systems and interoperability systems. We are integrating sensors, we're integrating communications with our own systems in order to provide interoperability solutions for the armed forces around the world. Our main products are the ULS, which is the short for Universal Link System. It's a multi-tactical data link gateway, which can uh, provide simultaneous participation to C4I nodes on NATO and US standardized links, like the Link 11, Link 16, Link 22, but also on national and customized links for the countries that are not NATO allies or they're not NATO countries. The second product portfolio that we have and we develop is the Mission Information Management System, for short is MIMS. It's a command and control or a mission system platform which can be delivered in different flavors for different platforms, different end user requirements. For example, we have the MIMS Airborne, which is a solution particularly designed and implemented for maritime patrol aircrafts. All on board sensors get integrated into the mission system. We generate the common operational picture and then we, through the tactical data links, we can disseminate it to other assets, being that ground command and control stations or other airborne units or other naval units. That's the MIMS Airborne, then we have the MIMS Naval, which is a similar deployment, similar flavor for command and control, which is designed specifically for the maritime environment. And we're providing all the navigation aids, the tactical aids, the visual aids to assist the crew to operate and perform their missions. It's uh, the MIMS Ranger, the communication and situational awareness solution for the soldiers, for the special operation forces. Again, Skitalis comes in with a game changer. We have developed the software application, which helps you plan, coordinate and execute mission in very hostile and demanding environments. Already integrated with radios, particularly managed radios for the specific reason that we want to transfer video real time back to headquarters or wherever the mobile command post is for decision making and also integrating with sensors for that particular purpose to be able you know, to transfer the image. My name is Boyan Gerchev. I'm a procurator in Optico Electron Group. Our company is one of the biggest manufacturers in Europe of uh, optical and optomechanical uh, devices. You can see here a lot of them. This, for an instance, is an artillery observation post. Uh, our company has 50 years of experience in those kinds of products. We have a lot of customers here in uh, these regions. Uh, so I'm expecting to expand our markets, of course. We especially came here to show one of our newest products, which are these night vision goggles. These are the lightest test at the moment on the market. Very compact, very small. With the batteries, the weight is about 300 grams. You can also read with them. You can look at your feet and see where you're going. And I think we have an opportunity to sell them here.